how do you print photos with an Epson printer? Stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually print on photo paper with your Epson printer. There will be product links down in the description below I will be talking about in this video. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. So the very first thing you need to do is adjust the paper type on your printer for the paper tray. Here you have all the options. You need to take a look at the type of photo paper that you have with you. You can take a look at the packaging and you're gonna determine what type of photo paper. Now mine says luster on it, so it's more of a semi-gloss finish. So I'm going to select semi-gloss. Make sure that you select one of those photo paper types. If it's plain paper or it's an envelope or anything, if you select one of those, the, the quality is just not gonna come out right. So you also need to make sure of the size input the size correctly. Next, you need to adjust the settings on the device that you're printing from. I'm printing from a smartphone. You see the screen right on the right side showing you exactly what I'm doing. So you just need to adjust all the presets and you also have to select media type on the device that you're printing from. So I'm gonna select the same type of media. In this case, I'm gonna end up going with a semi-gloss uh, photo paper. So once you have that selected, you can adjust the presets, make sure you're getting the best quality. Now, if you're using a laptop or a PC, you could have a lot more settings to choose from. Also, you'll have a borderless setting to choose from most likely with most Epson printers you do. So just adjust everything that you need to before you hit print. Check and double check because you can't overdo this process. Once you start printing, you're using up ink, you're using up your photo paper, and you're tying up your time. So a really simple video. If you want a more in-depth video, comment that down below. Also, if you're having trouble with your print quality, with your photos, you may need to use the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. I'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description below, and I'll also leave a link for the printer that I used, the photo paper that I used, and and so that you have all those resources at your fingertips. I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. If you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time.